on question 8 we want to graph the f of x the fourth root of 3x plus 7 minus 4 so if you're using an 84 graphing calculator you're doing y equals and then recall that anytime we're using a root that we actually have to rewrite this as 3x plus 7 raised to the 1 fourth power minus 4 since our calculator doesn't know how to do the fourth root very easily and so in our y equals we are going to type in parentheses 3x plus 7 raised 1 divided by 4 if you have an 84 graphing calculator it should put it up here if you have an 83 you're going to need parentheses around the 1 fourth and then the right arrow key to get it back to the e uh, level of the expression and then minus 4 and so that's how you would type it into your calculator if you're using Desmos you do a very similar thing f of x equals parentheses 3x plus 7 right arrow key get you one tap out um, Put it on the outside of those parentheses and then raise 1 divided by 4. Right arrow key again, twice, and then minus 4. And the idea here now is now that we have the function um, entered into our calculator, we want to find out what the starting point is. And then the starting point will determine our domain and range. And Since the 3x plus 7 has to be a positive value because we can't take the fourth root of a negative number, we know that the 3x plus 7 has to be positive. So that means the first positive number or the first number that is non negative is 0. So that means that 3x will have to be equal to negative 7. So x equals negative 7 thirds. So if we were to place trace R, we'll see this get very close to yet yeah, it's not going to actually show us there. Um, so we know it's negative seven thirds so and it's going off to the right so it's negative seven thirds less than or equal to X less than infinity and then since our range is dependent on whatever our domain is if we know that 3x plus 7 if we plug in negative 7 thirds this whole thing is 0 so what's left is negative 4 so if we were to graph our function get x and f of x and then we have the point negative 7 thirds, 1, 2, and a little bit, 1, 2, 3, negative 4. Um, so we know that this is, oops, I lost that. And um, we know that this is negative 4 less than or equal to f of x. This is less than infinity. And then just using Desmos, um, we can find out what the vertical intercept. If you're using your graphing calculator, you just go to your table and type in 0. And you'll see it's also negative 2.373. So we have 1, 2, so we have about there. And then, so we know that our vertical intercept is 0 comma negative 2.373 and then for the horizontal intercept we can use Desmos pretty quickly and zoom out and over find out where this is intersecting which is at 83 
we know this is 83 comma 0. So maybe if we count by tens, along here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, so it would be you know, about right there. So we have a graph that looks like that, the starting point. Um, the way you can find the horizontal intercept algebraically simply is, well, 0 has to be equal to the fourth root of 3x plus 7 minus 4, and this is y1, y2, find the point of intersection. Um, if you're doing it graphically, algebraically, we're going to talk about um, in the next section. So right now, just doing this graphically is all that's needed.